Hi, my name is Rotem and welcome to another speed painting video. I will explain the process of painting this portrait a little bit as we watch. As you can see, I started with a light pencil sketch. I started the painting process by laying down broad wet and wet washes. That is, when you wet the paper first and then add pigment. It allows the paint to blend very naturally and softly. So I started with some browns for the skin, adding in reds in areas like the nose and the lips, blocking some shadows area. And then I did a wash with quinacridone gold for her blonde hair. Quinacridone gold is like my favorite yellow. It's actually the only yellow that I really like. So I was really happy to be able to use so much of it for this painting. Now, here is where I ran into some problems with the paper. This paper is not of the highest quality, so it began to buckle quite strongly with so much water added to it. When it comes to materials, you do get what you pay for. It did settle down after drying between layers, and I didn't have to fight it so much for the rest of the painting, but it was a bit of a challenge at the start. I added some burnt sienna to the hair in order to define it a little bit and block in the darker areas. I also continued to add shadows to the skin with the same color. Then I switched to a thinner, more pointed brush to be able to define areas more precisely and keep uh, building up the tones. Another thing is that colors dry quite lighter in tones, so I kept building up colors with layers. At this point, I started doing more detailed work such as the eyebrows and the lips. I was working from a photo reference, but I interpreted the photo rather loosely while still trying to keep the resemblance but it did give me more freedom when painting. Her skin tone is quite cool, so I used a cool red for the lips in areas such as the eyelids. I used browns in order to shade the hair a little and suggest some details of her hairstyle, then kept on building up more shading in the hair. You can see me going over the same area multiple times, uh, such as the lips and eyebrows. I'm building up the strength of the color in layers bit by bit. I did the same with the stronger shadows.
So then I committed to painting the peonies at the bottom by blocking them with a light wash. I then waited for that base wash to dry by working on the eyes. I used a paints grey with a dot of Prussian blue for those. Prussian blue is my favourite blue on my palette. I then went on to paint the peonies. Now I don't really paint flowers usually, I should probably do it more, but I just looked up some tutorials on the web to get some ideas, then I discarded everything and went by feel. After the base wash, I defined the petals with very pure pigment. While waiting for that to dry, I worked on other areas of the painting, building up color again. past the ugly stage and starts looking like something real, something that could look good, I think we're about there in this painting. I went back to the peony with an all over red wash, then uh, I started doing the second flower as well, using the same method of drawing out the outlines of the petals. The original pencil lines were all but invisible under that red wash, so I basically drew the second flower from scratch with uh, the red paint. up some shadows with a bit of purple and after that I finally decided on the color of her dress so I decided to use Payne's gray to sort of uh, mirror the eyes and decided to fade it out softly at the bottom adding some extra highlights with some opaque white. Usually in watercolors you use the white of the paper, but I find that adding some white touches, for example in white gouache at the end, really brings something more to the painting. Then I broke out my Kuretake starry colors in rose gold for some shiny accents. I also added some silver touches to the eye reflections. And that's 
about it. I really enjoyed painting this portrait. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and for more content like this, please subscribe and hit the notification bell button next to it so you won't miss any videos. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!